Okay, everybody, take your seat. Let's get started. We're going to move fast and furious. So I want you guys to pay very, very close attention. Stay focused. Do not talk to the person next to you, please. Okay? It will distract me and make me lose my train of thought. And I'll stand up here for the next 15 minutes trying to regather my thinking. Okay? Will y'all do me that favor? Yeah. And, uh, okay, so, yes. Okay, so we're going to be... Uh, covering just the al the Hebrew alphabet letters. We're not going to be covering uh, the meanings or the vowel markings, just the al al alphabet letters, uh, the Hebrew alphabet. Okay, now, the, uh, the how, how many know how many letters are in the Hebrew alphabet? Does anybody not know how many is in the Hebrew alphabet? Okay, there's 22. We have 26 letters in the English alphabet, right? Okay, there's 22 Letters in the in the Hebrew. There are five letters in the Hebrew alphabet that have other letters that make different sounds and they look a little bit different. We're not going to be covering those. We're just going to cover the 22 Hebrew letters. Okay. What I'm going to do is um, write them up here. I'm going to show you how to write them. Now, when you if you look at like for instance the uh, the first letter, the, al the excuse me, the olive. Uh, Jordan taught me how to say that correctly. The the olive would be like this. With a line down the middle like this. And a line coming up like that. And a line coming down like that. That right there would be, this right here is, is like the, uh, this right here is like the, the, the yod in uh, the tenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and I'm just showing you kind of like the artistic way of writing it. When you see Hebrew in in, uh, in print, you're going to see it more artistic, and this, of course, is all is all colored in right here. So this right here is the tenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and it actually means hand. Okay, and I, this is just this is not what I'm trying to teach you guys. I'm just trying to show you something about the Hebrew alphabet that when you see it in print, it's gonna look a little bit different. This right here is like the Vav, the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. We're gonna to get to that here in a little bit. So, so the Vav, it means nail. The sixth letter means nail, right? Our Messiah was crucified on a Roman cross. He was nailed here. This is six. He was nailed here. This is six. He was nailed with his feet on the on the on the cross. Six, six, six. Isn't that interesting? Man's number is six. So I found that very interesting. So this right here means hand. This means hand. This means nail. Who was nailed by his hands? Our Messiah, Yeshua. And so the first letter. Uh, declares that there's a there, there's a there's tremendous deep meaning in the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, a lot of scholars believe that Hebrew was the first language on the face of the earth from Adam and Eve until the Tower of Babel, and uh, that was uh, 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 then at the course the Tower of Babel. Uh, multiple languages were. Uh, were put upon people to uh, bring about confusion or bring, bring about uh, where people could no longer do quite what they did because they didn't have the, the clear communication that they had when there was one language. And that was all for a purpose. So, um, the language that our Messiah spoke was Aramaic Hebrew. He did not speak ancient Hebrew, but there probably was still some of that left behind. It probably was not all lost. It's just that they had, when our Messiah came along, they had some four or five hundred years earlier come back from 70 years of captivity, the Israelites did, come back from 70 years of captivity in Babylon. And when they, and while they were in Babylon for the 70 years, the ancient uh, Hebrew language took on an Arabic dialect. And it, and it kind of morphed into what we know today as Aramaic Hebrew. And that's, of course, what our Messiah spoke. And they have the what we know as the box lettering. Uh, those of you who have seen my wristband here, this is ancient Hebrew, 
And uh, this is how they wrote the Hebrew before going into Babylon. And then they transitioned over to Aramaic Hebrew or the box lettering like we're going to learn. And then, of course, Moses wrote in ancient paleopictograph. Uh, uh, we see this right here just real quick. This right here is Yod, Hey, Bob, Hey. This right here is uh, how we'd write the father's name in, in Aramaic Hebrew. And then this right here, so you guys, because you guys can't see it, is like this, Yod, Hey, Bob, Hey. That's what my wristband looks like right here. This is the same as this, Yod, Hey, Bob, Hey. But the way Moses wrote was in ancient paleo pictograph. Don't let this confuse you guys. I'm just, this is just uh, uh, part of the package. Okay, so the way Moses wrote, this right here was Yod, Hey, like a man standing up saying, Hey, or Behold. And then this right here was Male and Behold. Okay, so this right here was the way Moses wrote Yod, Hey, Bob, Hey, Yod, Hey, Bob, Hey. This is the way he wrote the father's name, Yahweh, or Yahuwah, or Yahuwah. And this means hand, behold, nail, behold. So the father's name declared the plan of salvation through the crucifixion of his son thousands of years before he was crucified. When I learned that, that blew me away. Brought me to tears, actually. So, so when I say that the meaning, the, the Hebrew names, the Hebrew letters, uh, all 22 of them have specific meanings. And, uh, and when you start looking at a name uh, in Hebrew and you know what each letter means, you'll find that, that the name of that patriarch actually defines his purpose, what he does in life, and, and, and has tremendous significance. And so we're going to uh, we're going to get into that later on. That's going to be something that Roger is going to do. We're going to get into the much deeper stuff. Right now, we're just going to build a foundation. This is first grade. You're in first grade today, the first day of class, and you're for some of you guys, this is going to be boring as all get out because you're way past this. It's always good to revisit stuff, isn't it? Because we are <laughs> dumb sheep and we forget a lot of stuff. I learned this in 45 minutes. What I'm about to show you, I learned in 45 minutes. And I got and I got rocks in my head. I graduated high school not ever having, having read a book. I graduated high school not knowing how to multiply or divide. I graduated high school uh, uh, not uh, never making higher than a D at a D minus on anything. I never have passed a test in one not one time in, in school. So, so I struggled academically tremendously, and uh, and it was very frustrating and extremely embarrassing because kids are cruel and they and they and they, they punish and torture kids who are uh, ugly, dumb. If you're not a cheerleader or a jock, then you're just out of luck. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let's pray real quick. Uh, how many of you guys would like to start? You would like to start today and become more familiar with the language. Your Messiah spoke. How many of y'all would like to know the alphabet? Raise that. Raise your left hand real high if you want. If that's you, okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Take your right hand. Take your right hand. Put it over your over your forehead like this. And let's say, Father, right now, Father, we are your children, and we want more than anything to know you better. And we want to know your language know your alphabet and that's where it starts father and but the only way that we're going to learn it is if we actually take the steps to learn it and we need your help we need you to help us to to, to see these things see these letters <coughs> excuse me see these letters father and and we need your help to remember them father i pray that as we go over these letters you see all these hands raised we want to know this we want to become familiar with it and uh, because there's so much meaning and, and, and deep, deep significance of everything that has to do with you and, uh, and Hebrew. So, Father, help us, help our minds to, help our eyes to see it, our ears to hear it, and our minds to retain it and help us to apply it. And today, Father, we say we can do it. We can do it. 
We can learn this Hebrew alphabet in one hour today. And Father, help us by the power of your Holy Spirit, your Ruach HaKodesh. And we ask it, Father, in Yeshua's holy name and in his power and in his authority. And we thank you for this time right now. Amen. So, let's start. You have uh, the alphabet sheet in front of you there. And, uh, and as, we, as I show you how to make each letter, you're going to uh, write it uh, very clearly. Or you're, Josh, you're going to write it very clearly up here in the olive. When I show you how to write it, write it real plain and clear with your pencil. If you mess up, your pencil has an eraser on it. Erase it and start over. Okay? Um, and, uh, and then on the notebook paper, what I want you to do with that is when you, once you write down the letter, <coughs> I'm going to have you write a whole row of the, like for instance, the, the olive. You're going to write a whole row of olives. And what I want you to do, and this is very important, is when you write it down, don't just write it down. Your eyes need to not only see it, but your ears need to hear you saying it. So when you write it down and you draw it the way I show you, you're going to say olive, olive, and you write it down. And I want you to write the numerical value of each letter above it. Olive, numerical value one. Olive, numerical value one. And we're going to write them all. Uh, now I'm going to do it while you're, uh, I'm going to do it here and you're going to do it on your paper and we're going to write them all the way across. Remember, Hebrew is written and read right, right to left, not left to right. English is left to right. Hebrew is right to left. And so that's why your sheets uh, are drawn up the way they are. Okay, does everybody have that? Listen to me. If you don't write down these letters, a row of about, I, 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 like to, I like to stay with biblical numbers, so when I did it, I wrote down 12 olives across the top because there are 12 tribes of Israel, right? And so, so I wrote down 12 olives across with the number one written above it. And, but you've got to say it out loud. Now, don't be obnoxious. Don't, don't yell it out. Just say it uh, where your ears can hear your mouth speaking it and write it down every time you do it, okay? And I'm gonna be doing the same thing. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so the first letter, Olive, is you start by making a long line, diagonal, like that. Okay, got your, you got your line down? Now, the center point, I would say it was about here. Come down a little bit from the center point right there, and we're and you're going to make a line up like that. Got it? Yeah. And then just a little above center point, you're going to make a line down like that. Now that you're not going to be drawing these letters out like you see them in print. That would take forever to uh, to write someone a letter in Hebrew or to even write out the alphabet. So you're just gonna do simple lines like this. So that's the olive, write it in this right here. You can write it as small as you want, or as big as you want, I gave you uh, enough, enough space. I'm gonna write it right over here. Olive, always say it out loud when you write it. Olive, uh, olive, now write it down. Okay, now I'm going to do it over here on my paper. I want you to write down olive, say it out loud, numerical value one. Okay? Olive. 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 Numerical value one. Olive. And it doesn't have to look perfect. Just olive. Olive. Did y'all get it? Yes. Who beat me? Everybody? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm slow. <laughs> okay, so that's all of <coughs> And you got it written down and you wrote the numerical value one above it. Jan? What do you mean? Would you tell us what each letter means that we can write it down? No. 
you, uh, you and, 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 I'll and I'll tell you why. Uh, I won't tell you what it means, but it is spelled. Now this is this is not a translation. This is a transliteration of the Hebrew enunciation, Aleph. So it, Aleph is A L E P A. So you can write that down. But we're not going to because it would it would take two hours uh, to go over what each letter means. So we're not going to do that. That's going to be something that Roger and I will do at a later date. Today we're just going to keep it real simple and learn the Hebrew alphabet letters, just the basic letters, not the extra five letters that look different. Okay, so everybody has the olive, right? Yeah. Got it written down your paper. What's the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet? Olive. Olive. You guys are good. Okay, the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet is bet. bet. And you make, you make like a big seven like that. And then the bottom line is going to be a little bit longer than the top line. Can y'all see it in the way? You're going to come out here like this. And you're going to draw a line straight across and come a little bit past the vertical line. You see that? And that's bet. Put your little dot in there. If you don't, it would be pronounced vet with a V, vet. We're not doing vet today. We're doing just doing bet. So you make a long line, and this has a B sound, b, 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 and it's and, it, and it's kind of like a bed. Think about a bed, like a, a bunk bed, you know. And so that's the bet. So write it over here, and you can write down B E T. Now you'll notice when you see other transliterations of the Hebrew alphabet, it'll spell bet, B-E-T-H. I, I try to keep it real simple. So bet, now let's write it down on our sheets of paper. And it's, it's numerical And the numerical value, value I'm sorry. No, that's fine, I'm just making sure that's the number. Yeah, numerical value of bet is two. That's too long. There. Bet. Okay. Uh -oh. Yes, everyone say, I want to hear this room buzzing with bet. You bet. Bet. What's the numerical value of bet? Two. Two. Bet. What's the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet? Bet. What's the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet? Bet. What's the numerical value of the first letter? One. Oh, crap. I wrote down one. <laughs> <laughs> Power suggestion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Are y'all doing twelve letters all the way across? Oh, I was good. Well, oh, that's good. You're just not scriptural, but that's fine. I actually did 12, Donald. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. 12, 12 just seems to fit perfect. What about 70? 70. Okay, Jordan suggested we do 70 first letter. Okay. First letter of Hebrew alphabet is? Olive. Olive. Numerical value? One. Second letter of Hebrew alphabet? Bet. Numerical value? Two. Two. Third letter of the Hebrew alphabet? Oh, Hebrew scholars. Gemel. You make a line like this, and then you come down an angle like that, and then come up here about a, a third of the way and make a little line down like that. And that's Gemel. That's where, the, that's kind of, people, some Hebrew scholars say that, that uh, we get the, the word camel from Gemel. So that doesn't look like a camel, that looks more like an ostrich. I mean, I mean a, a, a giraffe. But that's a gimel. And the numerical value of gimel, I'm sorry, that is, I, I, I say gimel. When you listen to the, a lot of these teachings on YouTube, some people say gimel, some people say gimel. So don't make a big deal of the enunciation or the spelling because they're just transliterations. So gimel is boom, boom. 
Okay, now let's write it down in our paper and say it out loud. Numerical value of Gmail is three. three. Write it down. Gmail. Everybody got it? Yeah. Now, if, if you're not ready, stop me, okay? I don't want to go too fast. So the first letter, olive. Olive. Best. Gmail. Numerical value. Gmail. Three. 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 Okay. <laughs> Dalit, the fourth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The numerical value is four. And this is the way it looks. That's it. Try to think of like a like a door. It opens and closes. It's where we get the as the letter D, as in David, like a door opening and closes. Dalit, numerical value is four. four. Everybody can see this, right? Yeah. Numerical value of Dalit? Four. Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> Don't forget to put the little overhang right here. This right here. This right here is going to make a big difference because when you get to the uh, to the third letter from the end of the Hebrew alphabet, it's it, in print. It'll look real similar to this. Print can look similar to another Hebrew alphabet, so we're gonna we're gonna learn these little nuances of each letter and how to write them how to write them, and you, and you'll be able to look at any letter in in print and be able to determine whether or not it's a Dalit or a Resh or whatever. Okay, so the 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 hay looks like this, comes down, and then you don't go all the way up to the top. Come down below and come down like that. But you leave a little gap right there. No overhang, right? I like to put a little bit bigger gap. Okay, Is just. The house? No, that was better. Yeah, better house. Okay, so this is the hay. Numerical value is five. Okay. Write it down. I want to hear you guys saying them out loud. It's important. Hey. 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 Numerical value of the hay is what? Five. Five. Numerical value of the dalit is what? Four. Numerical value of the olive is what? One. Thank <laughs> you. 
You guys focus, try not to talk to your partner because I want your mind to be distracted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more. How many of you guys had uh, school teachers that were sergeant majors? That's the way I am. Okay, so the fifth letter, letter is hey. hey. Numerical value? Five. Okay, now this is something that really, really helped me. There's how many letters in the Hebrew alphabet? 22. 22. Okay, how many times does five go into 22? Four times with two left over, right? Remember the Hebrew alphabet in 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 groups of five letters. Okay. That's going to make it so much easier. So the, we've just completed the first five letters. Say them out loud. I knew I left one out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everybody close your eyes. Don't cheat. What's the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet? What's the fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet? What's the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet? What's the third letter? What's the, what's the first letter? What's the fourth? Alan. I love you guys. Y'all are so awesome. Now, how many of y'all did not know any of this before we started? Put your hand up real high. I want to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people. Wow. You guys are going to be Hebrew scholars by the time Roger and I get finished with you guys. And and you know you know the you know the what's the the the, the, the thing I hear on the floor? What's it called? Uh, what's it called on the floor out here? The a mosaic. Have y'all seen the mosaic out there? Yeah. You see the Hebrew letters on the floor? Yes. When we get finished with this, you guys are going to know what that says. Of course, somebody's going to cheat and tell you what it says. Uh, but it's going uh, but it's going to be really neat to be able to look at a Hebrew letter, a Hebrew word and sound out each letter and figure it out for yourself. I, I find that so cool uh, when I'm looking at Hebrew writings now. Okay, now we're on to the sixth letter. Sixth letter is man's number. What's man's number? Six. Six. And uh, and the uh, vet uh, in your Hebrew scriptures it says. I'm sorry. In the Hebrew scriptures it says, uh, wa w a w or w o w. Uh, here at this assembly we call it the vav v o v. Okay. So we're going to stay with the Bob, even though you'll see it in your Hebrew scriptures as, as, as uh, W O W, I think it is. Okay, so the Bob is a little line like that and a long like that. That doesn't look right. Oh, oh it's so cool. stiff. That stiff is really. Did they just put that there? No. <laughs> now they got the end of the Bob, though. Okay. You guys have seen the monster drink? It's three of those. What's what's uh, what's the, the the numerical value of, of six. the six? And so the monster drink is six six six. And on the can, on the can, it even says unleash the beast. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Marketing. Marketing is amazing. And little things like that. Does that have anything to do? Is that, does that have anything uh, with uh, uh, spiritual significance? Maybe not, but maybe. Is the drink amazingly good? No, it's not. It is not. It has a very, very metallic taste to it. All the sugar and the chemicals that are in there. And it is absolutely garbage. For your body, garbage. Should we dispose all of you that we already have? Huh? Should we dispose of all of you that we already have? Well, no, it's good. Uh, for that, that's something that uh, that you deal with. It's good for cleaning the brake dust off your wheels. <laughs> brake dust off your wheels. Okay, that's about. What's the numerical value, Bob? Six. 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 
Who said seven? <laughs> That's going to be next. You're a you're, you're step ahead of us. Okay, everybody write down. The Bob. And don't make that little thing on the side that comes off like this. Don't make that too big. Five, six. Six, five, 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 six, five
Who knows how to write this down? You did. Who knows that? <laughs> you write it a lot. It looks like it is. I hope you write it. Like it looks like that was a high. Okay, so it, yeah, that, that, this is one letter that's going to look real. Yeah. It's going to look similar to this right here. Okay? And you'll see it in print like this. And sometimes there'll be a little overhang right there. And sometimes there won't be. But just like a giant square in. Okay? And that's pet. Okay, let's write it down. Have you guys ever been do, uh, standing up? I, I mean, I, I, I rattled these things off. The only one in this room that can probably rattle these, this alphabet off faster than me is Eliyahu. <laughs> Last night I said, do you know the Hebrew alphabet? And he goes, yeah, alphabet, gimel, del, and he just, he just rattled it off. How old are you? Eight. El Eliyahu is eight years old, and he rattled it off. And, I, and I'm just going, I'm just going, you're right. <laughs> Oh, it was so, it was so, it was so amazing. Teaching to, him to write them. He's I can do it right now. He can't write them. Now you're going to know how to write them after today. Now you, did you guys believe you would be able to write the Hebrew alphabet today in one hour? And you're going to be able to. This is, this is so amazing. Okay, so let's write them down. Het. And say it out loud. Het. Numerical value of het. Eight. Eight. Numerical value of the zine. Seven. Numerical value of Dalit. Four. Four. I wish I'd shut up so you can write this stuff down. Let's see. Let's see. Ket. Ket. Say it out loud, softly. Ket. 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 Let's say the first five letters of the alphabet. Close your eyes, close your eyes. And say, get Olive, Bet, Email, Dalit, Hey. Wait. How, how, do you, how do you say this one here? Say it again. Cut. Cut. Put that little guttural thing in there. Cut. Cut. If if you if you if you go if you're talking to someone that knows Hebrew and you say and you say Chet or Het, they're gonna go. What are you talk? What are you saying? It's Het. With a slight guttural sound. Okay, tet looks like this, and that's it's kind of like the like the cat upside down. So draw draw a cat upside down. This is tet, just like that. And then when you get to the top, the top of it falls in like that. So you're making an upside down cat, and the and the roof falls in. Cat. Cat. Numerical value of het. Eight. Oh, that was good. Numerical value of tet. Nine. Kill the, kill the Hebrew children. <laughs> How many of y'all remember me saying that at Passover? <laughs> I was a, I was a, I was an Egyptian uh, 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 soldier, and I was saying, "Kill the, kill the Hebrew children." No, I said, "Kill, kill the Egyptian children." <laughs> oh, saints above, Pauline. That little rough part fall in. Tet. Tet. 
Remember the Hebrew alphabet is written from right to left. Okay, get rid of the tet. And we are going to do the smallest letter of the Hebrew alphabet is yo. And it looks like this. Can y'all see that? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow it up for you. Short That that that. In comparison, let me show you. This right here is is the tet, right? That's the tet, and this would be the yo. Little bitty. Yod means at the beginning it's the two letters down here and up here for the for the olive means hand hand sorry the hay is behold yeah hand behold nail behold so that's the that's the yod What's the numerical value of the ode? Yeah. What's the numerical value of the of the chet? Eight. Eight. What's the numerical value of the olive? Okay, everybody got it done? Yes. All right. Remember, we've got we've got the almost half of the alphabet already done. The first five, close your eyes. Let's say them out loud. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalit. Hey, that's right, that's the first five. Second five, Bob, Zion, Het, Tet, Yo. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, the the cop is going to is going to look like this, like a backward C with a dot in the center of it, Just like that. Backward C with a dot in it. Cop. Numerical value of the cop is 20. 20. The numerical value of cop is 20. Cop. Come on, you guys, y'all saying it loud? 20. Oh. Twenty. Oh. Twenty. Oh. Twenty. Oh. Twenty. Oh. Twenty. <coughs> what did I just do? Oh. Everybody have it? Cough. Cough. Numerical value? 20. 20. 20. Okay. Let's say them all, let's say them what we have right now. Allah, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, Hey. Bob, Zion, Het, Tet, You. What's that? Cough. Cough. Let me hear the. Okay, good, good. All right. I like this this letter here. This is Lamed. This is our letter L. And it has a long line that comes down like this, comes out like this, and then goes down like that. 
you know how the letter P in lowercase and the letter and the letter G in lowercase and uh, and the letter Q in lowercase in English uh, in the English alphabet how it how it comes down it hangs down below the line on your paper. Well, in Hebrew, this letter hangs above or or or, or, or is written above the line. Is that line straight or curved on the bottom? This one is this one is curved. Yeah. If you want to make it straight, you can, because this this letter Lamed is always going to have. I, it, to me, it looks like a lightning bolt. Yeah. Lightning L Lamed. Lamed. What's the numerical value of Lamed? Thirty. Numerical value of the Lamed is 30. 30. Say it from the beginning. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dal, He, Ba, Zayn, Chet, Tet, Yud, Ka, Lamed. Mem is the next one. You do it up here first. Okay, Mem, you make like uh, a triangle, sort of, like that. Come up at an angle like that, and then put another angle, another little leg up there like that. So it's like a triangle, and the bottom one comes up like this, and then this little thing jets off like that. That's the mem. Of the mem is 40. Mem, 40. Mem, 40. Mem, 40. Mem, 40. We're not going into that. This is just the handwriting. Yeah, this is just just the basic twenty-two letters. We're not going to go into the into the, the he's different. Not, I don't think he's the most or anything. He's huh? just kind of handwriting cursive block. Oh yeah, this yeah. The, uh, the, this this right here uh, is is just a very simple way of just writing out the letters so they can be uh, distinguished. You're going to notice in print they take on a very very artistic look about them. And uh, and it can and, and there and it's a very beautiful language uh, or, or written out. But we're going right now. We're just doing just the basic writing down the letters with a pencil, and that's it. Keep it very simple. We're going to cover much more detail later on. We're going to have everybody speaking and reading and writing Hebrew within at least a month. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. <laughs> okay. Okay, next letter is noon. <clears throat> the way you write this is you make a small line across like this, come down real long, and make a little bit longer line at the bottom, like that. And that's noon. Numerical value, 50. Numerical value of the mem, 
40. Numerical value of the Dallas. Four. Four. Okay, let's write it down. Make sure you make the bottom part of the noon just a little bit longer than the top part. Noon, 50. Okay. Now, my favorite letter. Oh, the alphabet. The way it looks. And it's cool to write. Start up here. You come way down here like this and go this way like that. And then come up about a third of the way. And draw a line up like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Summit. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, just testing, check it, make sure you guys are paying attention. <laughs> okay, the summit is a gray big circle like this, and then you come off like that. Summit, summit. That was a test, just making sure you guys are paying attention. Now. Look at the look at the last five that we just did, real quick. Uh, after you after you do the the, the cough, <coughs> the cough, then it's Lamed Mem Noon Samic. Look at it like this: L M N O. It's wow. the easiest five to remember because you <coughs> cough L M N O. Cough L M N O. Lamed Mem Noon Samic. That's good. Yes. I know that. It's just remembering, remembering that the summit comes out here. For some reason, I just I would always leave this letter out when I was trying to remember it. So, so it, it, uh, it just the uh, this group of five here, it'll be easier to remember when you're writing it down. Eventually, you of course it has nothing to do with an O. It doesn't have an O sound, uh, but it will help you to remember the way it looks. So the last five that we just did is say it out loud, everybody. Who cheated just then? Who was that? Eliyahu. Simon. What's the numerical value of the Samic? 60. Samic. 60. Got it down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now we're starting the last set of five, and the last two will be just a piece of cake for you. The last, uh, the, the, uh, the numerical value of the ein is 70, and the ein is made like this. You make like a backwards uh, L with a curve to it, like that. You all see that okay? Like that. And then you come up here, and right here is the center of this, of this uh, backward L. You come up here, and you're going to come down to the center of this. Right there. That's sloppy. I'm nervous. Can you guys see that? Yes. Looks like a backwards Y, doesn't it? 
It doesn't, it doesn't sound like a Y though, does it Roger? No, it just looks like a backward Y. Hey Wes. So it's ein. 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 A-Y-I-N. Numerical value of ein is 70. Yeah. Let's say them again, what we have so far. Olive, Bet, Gibble, Dallas, Hay, Bob, Zine, Het, Tet, Yo, Ka, Lamed, Min, Noon, Samik, Ain. Okay, the pay. Backwards E. Yeah, like a backwards E. Like that. You guys see that? A backwards E. And that's pay. P E. Pay. I don't know why I didn't say pay. A P A. Pay. And without the dot, it's pay. That'd be fall. Pa. Without the dot, it's oh, pay. No vowels, right. <laughs> yeah, a little spiral. Pay. 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 Pay with a little dot. Pay with a little dot. American value of the pay is 80. 80. 30. Uh the the what are these called right here? Tzitzits. This is the first letter of isn't it? The first letter of tzitzits. Tzadi. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Is that right out? Where's out? Here. No, no. Where's out? That's Roger. He's out there. That's Roger. Roger. The first letter of tzitzit or tzitzio. Tzitzit. Oh, by the way, tzitzit. Is, is singular, TTO is plural. Sadi. Not TTs. TTs. Yeah. No, not TTs. TT. TTO. Numerical value of Sadi? Uh, 
Okay, now listen to me, guys. Um, if you don't write these down every day, if you don't say them where your ears hear you saying these letters every day, I promise you, you will forget it. And it won't take but just two or three, four days. When, if you do that, you will be able to, you will sit down to write out the alphabet and you're gonna go, you're gonna miss two or three, four letters. You have to say them and write them every day or you will forget them. Why is that? Because scripture says we're dumb sheep. We're dumb. And we forget things. What does, it, what does our father, Yah, tell us to do? He says, first of all, he's one, right? And, and, uh, and he says to love him with all of our heart and to, uh, and to teach his Torah, uh, to talk about his Torah when we wake up, when we walk about our day and when we lay down at night he wants us to to he wants his children his covenant people to be consumed with him with his word talking about it fellowshipping about it discussing it all that and malachi that's awesome that's awesome okay so so you so 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 uh write this stuff down say it out loud and do it every day <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coop. Coop. Your Q O O F. Coop. That's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a long line like this. Come up here. It's going to be like a P. But this doesn't touch. Coop. Coop. Your American value of coop? 100. 100. Coop. Write it down. Say it out loud. Coop. 100. Coop. You promised me I'd know this and I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> you made that promise. Yeah. Yes. Coop. Got it down? Yes. Yeah. Coop. Yep. Okay, the 20th letter of the alphabet is Resh. 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 Now, in Hebrew, that letter is pronounced Resh. Resh. Like Resh. 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 Not, not Resh. 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 Like you're, there's another guttural throat sound, Resh. Resh. And it doesn't have an angle to it. The, the Resh can be, the, excuse me, the Resh can be mistaken in print sometimes for this right here uh, because sometimes that isn't uh, visible sometimes uh, but the resh the resh is you come out like this and then you don't make a corner you just come down like that that's like a backwards r resh 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 The miracle value of Resh is 200. 200. 
Make a corner on it, like I just did. Fresh. Everybody got their fresh. two letters guys yes. now the, the, the this, this last um, the second to the last letter is like a, it looks like a W you make a big giant U like this come up here to the center and draw a line down to this this side of the, of the, of the giant U so it looks like a W you see that that's called the shin Shin or Sheen? Sheen. 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 Okay, so write down the Sheen. Yes. Oh, right here. Sheen. Yeah, we're not going to get into the, all the dots and stuff. Sheen. What's the numerical value of the sheen? What does that letter look like? W. W. It's interesting that this letter, and I will tell you this, this letter, the meaning of this letter means to devour. Like it's like uh, it's like heat, chomping, devour. Sheen. Everybody got it written down? Okay. Sheen. The last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Tau. Tau. Okay, you make like a backward seven, like this. Start up here, and, you can, and it touches. It comes down, and it makes a little has a little toe out like that. Is this line on the dot straight? Yes. Me for me, no. But should be. <laughs> but it should be. I think now it goes back the other way. <laughs> That's Tav. So it's like a head with a toe. Yes. <laughs> You'll notice in print sometimes it hangs down. A little bit lower. Sometimes I've seen it in print. It doesn't hang down as low. That really, you know how everybody hand, everybody's handwriting is slightly different. You can end up with a thousand variations with this alphabet as well. Some, uh, it doesn't have to hang down lower, or, or, or just as long as it has that toe off to the side, you're going to distinguish it as the top. Yeah, it's supposed to. The top of it has a lot of In some, in some print, you will see that. Just like, just like the. Uh, Most of the time it does. Sometimes you'll see a little overhang like that, uh, but I've seen it a whole lot where it doesn't. So this right here is what's going to distinguish it, not that up there. This is what you're looking for for the for the top. Okay. 
What's the new numerical value for Tom? 400. Okay, listen to me. Remember, you're going to write these down every day at least one time, okay? Promise me you'll do that. Do not let this hour be for nothing, okay? Use this alphabet. Keep it in your mind because as we, because we're, this is all about building blocks. We're, we're going to be uh, teaching you what each letter of the Hebrew alphabet means. We're going to go over the, the vowel points and everything, but this is the foundation of the Hebrew alphabet, learning these letters here, and we're going to build from, from this point going forward, right, Roger? And it's going to be good. You guys are going to be amazed at, at how Scripture begins to just unfold before your very eyes. You're going to be shocked at how you're going to look at Hebrew words. Once you know the meaning of each letter, how names become just overwhelming to you. The name Methuselah. The grandfather of Noah. What does it mean? Huh? Huh? What does it mean? What does the what does the name Methuselah mean? When he dies, he comes. Yeah, when I die, judgment. So who is Methuselah? He's the grandfather of Noah. He was the last to die. And he died seven days before it started raining. That's amazing. Hey, when I die, how old was he? Judgment. He was 969 years old, the oldest recorded man in the Bible. He outlived his son, who only lived 777 years old. He died in his youth. <laughs> okay, so let's say the alphabet. Aleph, Bet, Eno, Dalit, He, Bob, Zion, Het, Tet, Yu, Ka, Lame, Min, Nu, Same, Ain, Pe. Real quick, go flip your paper over, and I want you to try to write down the Hebrew alphabet totally from memory. Just the letters. Don't worry about the numerical value. Just write the letters down. And, um, and if, you, if you just simply draw a blank, I want you to turn the paper over, find your letter, and you know if you have to cheat, do that. But every day, every day, when you write it down, you might skip a letter. You might get some letters switched. If that happens, don't beat yourself up. Just you know, go back and look where you made the mistake and correct it. Always correct it and then write it down by memory correctly. You follow me? That's gonna help a whole lot. Eventually this will get etched into your brain and you will have no trouble uh, saying and, uh, and, uh, and knowing uh, the Hebrew alphabet. My brother, and on my on my um, uh, on my wall in my living room, I have the Hebrew alphabet in great big giant laminated sheets of paper, uh, cardboard, and so it, so it's up there. And so so we you, uh, but I, I it's, it was up there for two years before I ever learned the Hebrew alphabet. I put it up there, thought, hey, that looks cool, makes me spiritual, right? I didn't do anything with it. I did nothing with it. And my brother comes in, he says, hey, I learned the Hebrew alphabet. And I, I thought, no, you didn't. And he just rattled it off. I put those up there for me. <laughs> I, I, it depends on, on uh, what Jordan wants to do with, with this class and, uh, and, and how, when Roger wants to teach. We're gonna let everybody know when we're gonna be teaching and how we're gonna be doing this. Just stay on top of this, okay? Did you so, guys write? Did you guys write down the alphabet? Hey, but so everybody knows, next week we're gonna finish. We're gonna do part two of how to find the sign in the Old Testament, 
camp will be done there. July 21st, which is the next Sabbath after that, uh, Roger's going to come here and he's going to start teaching the vowels of the Hebrew alphabet so you can learn, start learning how to read. And he's going to do probably what, three? Maybe three, at least two, maybe three. He's going to do two or three weeks in a row of that, and then we'll just we'll conclude from there. If we want anything advanced, uh, we'll discuss that later, I guess. Sound good? Okay, was anybody, uh, did anybody write it down perfectly without any mistakes? No. I didn't cheat. Okay. I I cheat. Uh, nobody. Not did anybody, how many of y'all had to cheat a little bit? Yeah, I did. How many, how many of y'all just feel brain dead like you didn't learn a thing? Okay, so we're gonna. So what you're gonna do? You know how the letters look. You know how to draw them. And if you have to cheat and look at it and write it over and over and over, do it. Do not get frustrated. Do not uh, beat yourself up because you because you can't get this. Okay. Or get it easily. A lot of people don't, may not know this, but Psalms 119 in your Bible, in most Bibles, has the Hebrew alphabet in there with, with the characters. Yeah. How many of y'all heard what he said? Psalms 119 has the uh, in, Hebrew alphabet. In Hebrew, if you're looking at it in Hebrew, you'll see every seventh, I think it's seventh, every eighth, eighth verse has the next letter of the alphabet in order. Right, right. Okay, Father, we want to thank you so much for this time. Father, help us to take uh, this foundational teaching of your alphabet and help us to retain what we have learned and help us, Father, to, uh, uh, to remember it and to be diligent to go over it every day, to think about it, and to, and to not let this be wasted, wasted time. Uh, we only will get to keep what we give away. We will only get to retain what we think about and what we rehearse. Only when we, only when we do this repetitively will you allow it to get into our hearts, into our minds, and to fill us. And uh, thank you, Father, for giving us sharp minds, for giving us uh, a desire to learn uh, your alphabet and to learn your heavenly language. We thank you, Father, in the name of your Son, Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys.